Hello and welcome to Joybox. My name is David. And my name is Hasham. Today we're going to be unboxing and demonstrating the Droidbox T11. Okay, so we're unboxing the Droidbox T11 today. As you can see, I'm removing the cap. Droidbox T11. We're going to put that to the side. Inside the box, we have got the HDMI cable. And of course, we have the power adapter, an English user guide. Put them all back. So, onto the T11 itself. Just remove that. So, you've got on the front is where the power LED shows. On the left hand side, you have the power switch and two USB 2.0 ports. On the back, you have a VGA port, headphone socket, Ethernet port, HDMI, and a USB OTG port. And finally, where you connect the power supply to. On the other side, you have a USB 2 port and one USB 3 port. And finally, a SD card slot. On the bottom, is where you can plug inside a external wire drive. So just to save a bit of time unscrewing them, here's one I made earlier. He's been waiting all day to say that. I have. Okay, so all you need to do is unscrew these two screws, lift the lid off, and then you can either use the R drive or the SSD, as long as it's 2.5 inch. So all you do, you just push that in, and slide it across and you'll feel the connection make each other. And then put the lid back on and simply screw down these two screws. So what we'll do next is give you a quick demonstration of the T11 up and running. So as you can see it's starting to boot up. It will go through the first run procedure. Once the setup procedure is completed you're ready to start using Windows as you would with your PC. As you can see all of your apps are here so you have the calendar, email, uh, games, Cortana and all your news feeds and so on. Uh, you've also got a list of all your apps here as what you'd find on a, a normal Windows PC. So you have full access to the Microsoft Windows Store. The first thing you want to check out is your new R drive that you may have already installed. So as you can see here, we've installed a one terabyte R drive. Uh, this can be used as normal storage, so you can use it to install additional programs, uh, any media you have, such as videos, music or photos. If your R drive isn't being recognised, what you may need to do is uh, reformat it. So simply go to disk management and give that a few seconds to load. Uh, scroll down to your R drive and right click on it and you can change the drive letter and path so what you want to do is change the drive letter to um, the D drive for example uh, if you do need to format it as well you can choose the format option from here and just follow the instructions on screen so one of the advantages of having a Windows 10 device such as the Droidbox T11 is that Netflix works really well because it uses Windows 10 and Microsoft Edge it can in theory go up to 4k support and it's uh, that, the actual only browser that can actually support it so um, you just use it like a normal Windows desktop so we'll just quickly show you um, an example of full screen playback so this is just a trailer but it works perfectly fine for TV shows and films so we just quickly put that into full screen and as you can see it works great so you have full access to everything on Netflix so any TV shows that you watch uh, there's also the films on there and so on 
you can also install Kodi. Uh, we recommend installing version 16, but you can, if you want, install the latest uh, version 17, which is currently in development. So all you need to do is just go to the downloads section and click on the Windows installer. That will give you a few options where to download it from. And after a few seconds, it will start to download to your T11 device. So as you can see that's downloading at the moment and then just give it a few seconds for it to download and once it's downloaded you can install it as normal. So once Kodi is installed you can find it on your start bar. So if you want to make a shortcut to your desktop just keep your finger on it and drag it to your desktop like so and that will make a shortcut. Then just double click on it as normal and it will start to load. So just give that a few seconds for the first time it's loading. And as you can see, it's installed the latest version of Kodi. So it's exactly the same as what you'd find on um, like your Droidbox T8S Plus. So you can install your favorite add-ons or if you have a video library, you can add that to it. And you can also access your R drive, for example. So if you just go to browse you'll find your D drive there which we installed earlier on so you can store all your media on there and watch it as normal so here are the actual specifications for the device using CPU Z so as you can see it's Intel Atom X5 Z8 300 and it runs uh, the processor speed dynamically so just to reduce strain on the processor uh, there's 2 gig of DDR3 memory and it has an integrated Intel HD graphics. It comes with 32 gig of storage. Not all of that's available because of the it, some of the operating system uses it. So you're looking at about 17 gig uh, free once Windows 10 has been installed and updated. But of course you have got the added benefit of using a R drive inside. You can of course also plug up any USB devices. So if you have a mouse and keyboard, you can plug those up. Uh, we highly recommend the Droidbox i12 mini keyboard, which has a full QWERTY keyboard and also a touchpad just to the side of it. And as you can see, I've been using it throughout this demonstration and it works really well. So we'll just quickly show you um, Windows activation to show which version of Windows so you've got Windows 10 Home Edition and as you can see it's fully activated with the product ID and a key uh, if you go to Windows Update you can see it's currently installing an update so where it's the first time it's being used there will be some updates available uh, just let them download and install as normal as mentioned previously, you have full access to the Microsoft Windows uh, Store. So from here you can download any apps that are listed on here. So for example, there's the Netflix app, uh, you've got Facebook, uh, there's a few games. We don't recommend playing many games on here because the actual device is not designed for games. But some very basic games you can actually play. Uh, so there's plenty to choose from on here. There's thousands of apps, uh, such as like music players, like um, TuneIn Radio, for example. And you've got Sky News. You've also got uh, BBC, iPlayer, Channel 5 On Demand, BT Sport, if you have an account with them, and so on. And finally, the Droidbox T11 works great with the VPN app IPVanish. So you just install that as a normal Windows app, go to Windows and then download software and install it and run as normal. Don't forget, because you're a Droidbox customer, you do get your first month for around 99 cents, which works out to around 68 pence. So it's a really good saving if you want a VPN provider. We hope you enjoyed this video showing the Droidbox T11 unboxing and demonstration. Please share, comment and subscribe. Thumbs up guys.
You can find out more information about the T11 by clicking the link in the bottom of the video and also in the description. Thanks for watching and goodbye. Goodbye. Thumbs up.